What's up now? This Rose Gold back again on another video. Now check it out. So shout out to Key Talk Media for this information, people. Um, somebody go check on Chris Brown, man. Now, I tried to tell y'all that the fight wasn't like people were saying it was. He got, you know, Usher got beat to a bloody pulp and this and that and this and that. Usher performed last night at the Lovers and Friends concert. Right, and despite Chris Brown jumping on him, Usher still let him perform because he was going to perform anyway, and let him perform anyway. Right, bygones be bygones, people. Chris Brown backstage, people didn't got into it with somebody else, not Usher. He didn't got into it with somebody though. Damn, like, hold on, man. Somebody need to check on Chris Brown. Man. Now, I don't know if this is the ooh, we don't touch that speaking, people. But I tell you this, man. Chris Brown can't go out like this. He can't go out like this. Now, I tell you one thing. All that skating Usher been doing and whatnot. And I know he's been skating before this. People seeing him skate a lot more. But this is the thing. Chris Brown, they they are saying that Chris Brown, that was Chris Brown's idea. His invention of, you know, doing all this skating type stuff. But he's not marketable. So they marketed Usher with the skating shit. You know, they ran, they under the same management. And it's a lot of things that Chris Brown is supposed to be doing that Usher is not supposed to do, supposed to be doing only because, but it's it uh but like i said chris brown is not marketable so they've been passing up chris brown and giving shit to usher but we all know the lovers and friends is usher thing that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about other stuff in the past that would have been chris brown's if it wasn't all for this you know attitude and fighting and shit like this chris brown need an attitude of judging people i man i'm sorry to see him going out like that man because i man his legacy so strong like, the man legacy so strong that even through everything that we see him go through as far as fighting and him getting touched and stuff like this and touching others, um, his fans will not hate him for nobody, all right? His day ones will not hate him for nobody, people, and that's a good thing. But at the end of the day, man, Chris Brown, man, somebody need to go check on that brother. Uh... People, I, you know, I don't know if somebody disrespected the man and he just, you know. But I tell you this. I like to put myself in everybody's situation when it comes to an altercation. Now, what happened at... Now, what happened at that birthday party type shit? Putting myself in Chris Brown's shoes? Usher was wrong. Only if he knew what happened... Between him and Tiana Taylor. All right? Now, if he knew what was going on and he knew how Chris Brown felt about that, Tiana Taylor should have never been there. Because when you throw somebody a birthday party, you, uh, nine times out of ten, you don't know who's coming. It's a surprise. You know what I'm saying? They'll just say family and friends and whatnot. You know what I mean? But like I said, if, if, if Usher knew that, yeah, he was wrong as hell for inviting Tiana Taylor. Alright? <clears throat> That's just my opinion. But if he didn't know, then it's it's not his fault. Because he didn't know. Uh but like I said, if he did know, yeah, he was wrong for that, man. Because they know what type of guy Chris Breezy is, man. And that's just like at this event. <clears throat> Usher was like, Yeah, man, I'm still at you performing, da da this and that. Whatever, whatever. You know. Then he ended up getting into it with somebody, and uh, you know, backstage and shit. Now they do got the video of that floating around, and uh, you know, I ain't seen no fist fighting, but I seen a lot of you know trying to break it up, break it up, get out of each other's face type shit. You know what I'm saying? And so, I don't know if this was after the man performed or before the man performed. Who knows if he even got to even perform? You know what I'm saying? This shit right here crazy, people. Uh, yeah. So, 
I, I, I think Chris Brown is having a midlife crisis. He might be having a midlife crisis, man. And it might be time for Chris Brown to retire. You know? Um, or at least, yeah, he might as well retire. Because if you're going to leave the music alone for a minute, you might as well retire. You see what I'm saying? Um, and, and just live life, man. Pay attention to his children, you know, his family, you know. And things of that nature because, and his true friends, if he got them. If he got them, you know. Because what we've been saying, it's not good, people. And, I, and, man, I'm mad as hell that Chris Brown out here showing his ass like that, man. Chris Brown need to get together, people. Damn. I really hate that Chris Brown is going out like this and acting like this. But at the same time, see, one day you could, you know, everybody's bad until they run across the the wrong one. And that's what I'm afraid of, that Chris Brown one day is going to run up on the wrong one. He's going to talk back to the wrong one, people. And him and his crew going to get spanked, allegedly. And that's what I don't want for him, you know. Because I know uh, Chris Brown like a blood or something like in real life, allegedly, you know. Um, he's supposed to be anyway, people, but, you know, I just, you know, I feel bad for him, you know, even WAC 100 was like, you know, he gonna run up on the wrong people one day, you know, and then he said, I think he said something about, uh, some, you know, somebody gonna whip his ass, as if somebody is looking for him to whip his ass. People, <clears throat> Chris Brown, man, he gotta stop. He got to stop, man. He going down the wrong road, man. Um, you know, it took him a long time to come back from that Rihanna shit. And who knows if that's all the way true of what they was telling us. Because it was a lot of stuff they were saying that Rihanna did in the car as well to him. So, there's still no excuse. All right? There's no excuse. But most of the time, when women... Will, will still be with a man that people know is an abuser and you still can be with that man, that means you be fighting dudes. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because who, what woman in their right mind going to be with a dude that they know will beat a woman ass? I ain't saying they a woman beater. I'm just saying you get out of pocket with him, he will beat your ass. He ain't the type to turn around and be like, you know what, it's cool, I'm going to leave he ain't the type to say, you know, if you smack him, he's not the type to just let you smack him. He gonna smack your ass back. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. So, yeah. That's just my opinion. All right? Still no excuse. Because a man never supposed to put their hands on a woman. All right? But at the same time, what's wrong with Chris Brown, people? Get in the commentaries and let me know. I feel sorry for Chris. He is out here losing it, people. I think the man going through some type of midlife crisis. I think he's uh, he's 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 fucking with the ooh wee too damn much. It's taking over his damn train of thought, chain of thought. And uh, allegedly, people with the ooh wee don't touch. Just say no to drugs, people. You know. I just hate this is going on with Chris Brown, man. Somebody need to sit that man down and talk to him. It, it's a lot going on with him because he got, what, like three babies, man. He need to be concentrating on, man. And, and, you know, that's his heart right there. But when you own that, ooh, we don't touch. Now, see, at first I didn't used to believe it. But now it's it's inevitable, man. It's right there in your face, man. Yeah, he's been on the ooh, we don't touch, bro. And that's a hell of a drug. You know what I mean? Uh. Like Rick James would say, that's a hell of a drug, All right? Um, so prayers out to Chris Brown, man. He got to come back to Chris Brown, you know, because I, when I think of Chris Brown, I think about, you know, that way back in the, in the day song, you know, yo and shit. And he was innocent right there and shit. And when they get in this, this damn industry, Yeah, they get around the wrong people, and, you know, and, and once they hit something like that, 
they tend to can't fight those demons while they're fighting demons. See, they can't fight that demon while fighting demons. So in order to fight their life demons, they got to fight this habit demon. And vice versa. So the shit's complicated, people. See, y'all let me know how y'all feel about Chris Brown, man. Prayers to your boy, Chris Brown, man. Message.